competitive advantage is one of the most important things to understand and to use in creative entrepreneurship. And I'm going to explain the concept um, with a personal story and then an example from the creative industries from a company I worked with. Firstly, from my own point of view, I like to run and I participate in the sport of fell running, um, which is the crazy sport of running up and down mountains. The word fell is British English for the hills of the Lake District. So fell running is, you know, hill or mountain running. And I sometimes wonder, and here's a question for you. If there was a kind of mini Olympic Games in my town and I could enter into one of two um, competitions for men of my age, would I go into the downhill running competition to win a medal or the uphill running uh, competition? That's the question. I have to tell you that I'm much better, much, much better at running downhill than I am at running uphill. Absolutely, no problem. So when I asked the question, should I enter the downhill uh, race or the uphill race, your first reaction might be, well, enter the downhill race because you're better at that, David. And there's a certain sense to that. But in answering the question, we need to understand the competition. So we need to look at my chances in amongst my rivals and the other people competing. So from my fell running experience, I can tell you this. Yes, I'm good at running downhill, but actually most other people are even better than me. And in the downhill leg of the race, uh, people come past me. Because although I'm running faster than I am when I'm running uphill, um, they're running even faster than me. On the other hand, in the early stages of the race, when we're running uphill, I'm very slow. It's quite painful, um, it's not a lot of fun, but it's not a lot of fun for anybody else either. And they're also very slow. And believe it or not, most people of my age are even slower than I am. And so in that uphill leg of the race, I'm actually gaining places, passing people. So that's my experience and that's my research, shall we say, about where I sit in um, in relation to my competition. And so my competitive advantage is in the uphill race, not the downhill race, because it's not about what I'm good at. It's what I'm good at in relation to the competition. And so the best answer about which event would I participate in to win a medal in the mini Olympic Games in my town would be, David, we think you should um, enter the uphill race because that's where you have competitive advantage. The downhill race, although you're faster, you're going to lose because everybody else is faster still. So sometimes when we look at things in relation to competition, it turns things on its head. The conclusion is vastly different than our first um, impulsive thought. And so Competitive advantage is about asking two questions. The first one is, what are you best at? And that's a useful question. But actually, it's the second question that is the killer, that is the crucial one. It's that gives us the answer. And the second question is this, what are you best at in relation to the competition? That's the key. Because we are competing in business, we have to take into account the competition and competitive advantage is to identify what you're best at in relation to the competition. And then we can um, go forward with that. We can major on that. You know, we can exploit that competitive advantage. 
coming into the creative industries, um, I did some coaching and consultancy work with a small video production company. They made different kinds of videos uh, for different purposes. And in the initial meetings, uh, so that I got to know their business very well, I asked them, first of all, what are you good at in terms of making videos? And they said, oh, we're really, really good at making music videos. You know, videos for bands, for musicians, we're really good at making those. And, you know, they were very pleased with themselves. And I said, okay, that's good to know, thank you. Second, and I said, anything else that you're good at? And they said, well, we also do promotional videos for companies, uh, advertising videos in effect, or promotional videos certainly. And we're, we're pretty good at those. Yeah, we're, we're very, you know, very good, pretty good. Okay, thank you, good to know, I said. And thirdly, I asked, you know, anything else at all that you do? They said, well, sometimes we do um, social documentaries on, you know, important issues. And sometimes these can be quite complex, um, involving perhaps different languages and subtitles. And we do them and we really enjoy them. They're part of our mission, uh, part of our business. But we don't think we're very good, you know, because these, these projects are very, very complex. So we're not really very good at those. And I said, OK, thanks for the information. And then I asked a second series of questions. I said, going back to the music videos, um, you're very good. I accept that. Are, are there any other companies or individuals who are also good? And they said, oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, there are lots. Um, lots of really good people in that market. You know, lots of people like to do music videos. A lot of very talented people and companies. And, you know, it's it's tough. And they said, you know, actually, you know, we're very good, but a lot of these people are even better than us. OK, I said, OK, thank you. And I made a note. Then I moved on to the promotional videos and I said, you do promotional videos. Uh, who else is doing those? They said, well, not a great many, but certainly we have competitors. And I asked, you know, how are they better than you or worse than you? And they said, well, you know, some are, a few are better than us at that particular kind of video. We have to admit that. But many others are just not as good as us. OK, thank you. And I made a note. And then moved on to my third area of questioning, which was about these social documentaries. I said, you tell me you're not very good at them, but, you know, who else is doing them? They said, not very many, there aren't, you know, it's a very specialist area, there aren't many competitors. And I asked, of these competitors, you know, are they, are they good? Are they excellent at what they do? They said, no, not really, because this is a difficult area. And although we're not very good, um, to be frank, you know, they're even less good than us. You know, because it's, it's a, a difficult kind of video to make. We love doing it, it's a challenge, but it's not easy. And other people don't find it easy either. And, you know, they're not as good as even we are. Okay, I said. So this is crucially important. And if we look at the diagram, we can put the, the you know, that company, um, we can express what they're good at in a graph of a kind. Um, we can look at the first product, which is the uh, music videos, and you know they score very highly. The second product, which is the promotional videos, less so, they're not quite as good. And thirdly, the social documentaries, where they say they're, they're not very good at all, or they have certain you know, weaknesses. They, they can't really call themselves excellent. But then when we look at this uh, situation in relation to competition, when we bring competition into the picture, it looks very differently. For the first product, music videos, they're very good, but their other their rivals are even better than them. 
So in this simplified diagram of just three companies, they are third out of three. They're bottom of the league. You know, their ranking is, is last. So they clearly don't have co a competitive advantage there. Secondly, if we look at promotional videos, um, again, a simplified diagram, you know, as if there are only three companies, but the point is they're middle ranking. They're not the best, but they're not the worst. They're second out of three, so they're in the middle of the league table. So they have some chance of competing, perhaps. And then thirdly, we come to the third product, which is the social documentaries, and they're less good at that. Um, on the other hand, if we look at the competitors in this simplified diagram, then the competitors are even worse. And so, although they're not very good, if everybody else is worse than you, you're the leader, you're the best amongst competitors. And that's the situation here, where they are first out of three. They are top ranking. They are, you know, the leaders in that market. And so this is really interesting because our initial answer would be to say, you know, what they're best at, which is the question I asked. And, you know, it's, it's product one and then product two and then product three in that order. That was the first question. But when we look at the situation in relation to competitors, their competitive advantage is in totally the reverse order. In other words, it's product three where they have the most competitive advantage, followed by product two, where they have some, and product three, thirdly, sorry, product one, um, is where they have least competitive advantage. So we've actually turned things upside down by asking the question differently. And that question is, what are you best at in relation to com uh, competition? And that is what competitive advantage is all about. Ident identifying what you can do that other people can't, or they can do less well than you, and then majoring and focusing on those areas of business in which you have competition, sorry, where you have competitive advantage. And so that's the way to compete effectively and to be successful, to identify and to use your competitive advantage in the creative industries.